Congratulations on the purchase of your MDC Expedition Hauler. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run through the electrics and the setup and pack up of the kitchen. On the driver's side of the camper, you've got the balance of the electrics, which start with the two 100 amp hour AGM batteries. Also in here, we have the Red Arc BMS unit main body. Above that, a 1000 watt inverter. Right in front here, we have the actuator unit that opens and closes the camper. Up in the back corner, we have the main 12 volt isolation switch. Beside that, there is an 80 amp breaker for the opening and closing mechanism. Then, down the bottom, we have the isolation switch, which isolates the open and close mechanism only. And beside that, the control switch that opens and closes the camper. On the other side of the camper, we have the control panel to operate all your circuits. Plus, down the bottom here is the head unit for the Red Arc BMS unit. Be sure to read the manual thoroughly on that particular unit so you know how to use it and put it into storage mode when you're not using your camper. Just above, we've got our individual switches for each circuit. Just above those are the reset breakers for each circuit. So if a circuit goes down, this is your first port of call and press the reset. They're all clearly marked for which circuit they are. Just to the left is the electronic water tank level gauge. That's easy to operate. And just below them, you have your USB ports. That's everything for the electronics on this side. Setting up the kitchen is easy. Just need to open up the cabinet. And also make sure you grab the kitchen support leg out of the front box. To release the kitchen, there is a knob in the top right hand corner. We need to grab the kitchen by the bottom handle, which is connected to the chassis. Not the one above, that's just a small slide out table. Just grab the bottom one, pull the knob out and extend the kitchen. You'll hear it lock into place. Then grab the support leg and just under the middle of the kitchen here, is a recess for this to fit into. To place the leg into the hole under the front here, lift the leg a bit, take some weight of the kitchen, then screw the knob in. That'll ensure the weight of the end of the kitchen is on the leg for when you put larger pots, etc., on it. Now you can open it up and you'll find the fold down tap here. And under here, your three burner cooktop. In this front cupboard, if you lower that down, you'll find your hoses and connections. One hose is the drain hose for the sink. Run that out the hole in the bottom of the kitchen and into a jerry can or a bucket, and that'll collect the wastewater. For your water, your hoses are underneath here. Now these are a snap fitting, like a nitto fitting. Just plug it in, cold at the bottom, Hot at the top, they're ready to go. Also in the cupboard amongst the hoses, you'll find this connector here. This is for the electric ignition on your cooktop. Just open up one of the 12 volt sockets, plug it in, now the ignition on the cooktop's ready to go. When connecting up the gas, run your gas hose through the hole in the bottom of the kitchen. Then, Open up this little panel here and you'll find the receiver for the bayonet connection. It's important that you do this before you turn the gas on. You don't want any pressure at the connection. It makes it difficult to connect up. Pop it in, push it in, then turn it to the right and that's our gas connected. Now you can turn the bottles on and use the cooktop. Packing up the kitchen, when you disconnect the gas, it's a great idea to turn the gas bottles off, then release the gas pressure through the cooktop. That way it'll make it much, much easier to disconnect this bayonet. To get it out, push it in, turn it to the left, and out it comes. Then close up your dust cap, push the hose back up inside the kitchen. To disconnect the water, push back on the collar, and that will release the quick connects. Undo them both, then unplug our power for the igniter, and we can close up the kitchen cupboard. Now all the hoses are put away, I can return my dust caps over the water fittings. Fold down my tap out of the way and 
close up the sink and the cooktop. Now, just have to remove the support leg. Undo that. That can be stayed back in the front box. Now, I can slide the kitchen away. To slide it away, again, pull on the knob on the top corner here. When we get it close to in, give it a nudge, make sure it's locked in, then we can close up the panel. Kitchen's away. There you go, folks. That's how you run through the electrical, the setup, and the pack up of the kitchen on your expedition hauler. For more information, head across to marketdirect.com.au and check out our YouTube channel.